Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 11th of March 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. So my wonderful kindred spirits, I'm attempting to get back into the saddle. Um, I've had, we've had a virus go, well, it's gone right through the whole family and left all of us with this horrible chesty cough, which um, is just not attractive at all, friends. And I have tried the last few days and I couldn't get through a reading without coughing and it just sounded awful. So <laughs> I wanted to protect your wonderful ears. OK, also before we start, um, I've had a, I received an email from uh, the wonderful lady who uh, bought me this beautiful wand a while ago, uh, the Spirit of the Forest. Um, here is me and here is Ruby. Um, it would seem that Ruby has been paying this lady um, a visit uh, and inspiring her to uh, to write. Um, and she is sharing uh, her writings with me. It's absolutely wonderful and really exciting and picking up on the, uh, Ruby's energy as, uh, as when she was in her earth suit. She was high spirited and very excitable. Um, and also this lady has sent me a little poem that she said I can share it with you. So here we go. Have you ever seen a chestnut horse gallop across the sky? Have you had to stop to blink and think? Can horses really fly? <laughs> Isn't that just wonderful, friends? I'm just so thrilled that Ruby is able to go to so many and inspire so many. It is just simply magical. OK, then, well, let's start our reading with an inspirational message from Starseed's Wisdom for Spiritual Growth. Here we go. What is the message from Spirit? For my wonderful friends, thank you. And your inspirational message for today is patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Oh, so not controlling, not trying to force things, but allowing things their perfect unfolding. Wow. OK, well, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the end of another week. OK, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Friday the 11th of March 2022? What do my friends need to know from the Lightseer's Tarot? The 11th of March 2022. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. Okay. What do my wonderful friends need to know? From the Light Seers Tarot. Thank you. Okay. Well, it appears we have four cards and it would like to go like that. Okay. So your cards are. The Page of Cups, followed by the Two of Cups, followed by the Queen of Pentacles, and 
finishing with the three of swords. Wow, okay. Your first card is the page of cups. Pages, a youthful energy, um, could represent um, a potential uh, new beginning, um, could represent an opportunity. Um, I'm really drawn here to the um, spiritual hands um, making this wonderful uh, heart shape and the glowing heart in the middle. Um, this is representing where you are coming from. Um, you are radiating from your heart. You are radiating out all of this wonderful light language. Um, it's almost as if that... <sighs> As this is a, an opportunity, a potential new beginning for you on the horizon, I really see, I mean, we have a wonderful flying pig. Um, although we see that the feet are sort of leaving the, the image, I'm really getting the image here that, that this page's feet are firmly on the floor. Uh, cups water energy so this is your emotions your your feelings um and you're not getting carried away with flying pigs i think if it had come in the reverse then i would have picked up on that but i am not um i really feel that um <sighs> This is you being patient. This is you letting things um, unfold and unfurl in their own pace, uh, at their own pace. Um, this is you not trying to manipulate, control or force anything. Um, I'm really drawn to the uh, water, the ocean uh, in the background. You are most assuredly going with the flow. I am hearing. Wow. Next you have the fabulous Two of Cups. Two, options, choices, decisions, partnerships, relationships. This is a real coming together. Now this could be um, true love for, for, for you or this could really speak of... Um, coming together as a as a partnership this is a perfect blending um an, a, an integration i am hearing um if this isn't resonating as um love uh, coming into your experience as in um true love surrender of the heart a choice that you are are making um then i really feel that this is going back to this first card thank you spirit this truly is you integrating um all of these beautiful energies i'm drawn to the colors now the colors of the spectrum um, the colors of uh, your chakras uh, your um, your energy um centers that re that reside within you um you've been really working on them you are you are opening them um and you are really in integrating internalizing um you're not giving away your energy anymore i am hearing this is the change that you have made you're not giving your energy away anymore you you really value um the currents see <laughs> of your energy um and this integration it's kind of from energy to to energy um i am hearing <laughs> wow 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 oh wow <laughs> okay next we have the queen of pentacles the queen of patience pentacles the element of earth this queen she is our gardener she understands about manifestation sowing seeds she understands patience so she knows that she will sow a seed there will be a period of time where that seed will be in the soil in the dark behind the veil where it cannot be seen but she has trust and trusts that everything is always perfectly unfolding at the right time in divine timing for her. She has this wonderful knowledge. See, 
even with the illustration uh, she has her eyes closed she's turned away from the pentacle because she knows about divine timing she understands manifestation and creation and she also knows how to get out of her own way by using patience wow 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 queens they are motherly nurturing um collectively they are um water energy so this queen is a, a real blend of of earth and of water so there's the right amount of of water here being poured upon your seeds of creation all you need to do is leave the creator to do the work your job is to remain patient <laughs> okay so next we have the three of swords three my favorite number the trinity mind body spirit thoughts words and actions you being your wonderful congruent authentic genuine self and with the three of swords swords the element of air this is a kind of just saying um Again, this is more a hinting at patience. If you aren't patient and you are trying to manipulate or control or force situations to happen before they are ready, um, spirit is saying that you run the risk of, of well, of things not working out for you. Um, this card represents um, heartbreak um, with the illustration we do see that there has been a few heartbreaks we have stitches here that have repaired the heart so I really want to feel oh, I really want to say that there is a feeling here of of mending although it looks like it, this heart is being pulled in many different places I, I do feel that this is because it's coming at the end it's almost like I feel that this is what you are overcoming uh, again this is spirit saying to you to be patient if you try and and force or control or manipulate situations then they are not the divine's creation they are not in divine timing um so <laughs> the advice today is to be following the page of cups the two of cups and the queen of pentacles and not the three of swords and if you are finding that you are that you are trying to manipulate a situation this is the time to be aware spirit is saying be more observant of your thoughts um are you sabotaging yourself when you sabotage yourself inevitably you sabotage others because of the energy the currency that you are putting out there Okay, spirit saying, be mindful of your energy and be in your energy. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, friends. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Next, we will have a card from Sacred Light Oracle by Anna Stark. Thank you. And let's lower the camera. And your sacred light oracle card is oh wow. Number 31. Temple of Mary. Emotional expression, playful innocence, and exploitation <laughs> wow okay so numerology uh, when we reduce it three plus one becomes four the number of security stability structure foundation in the physical but also limitations and boundaries so let me see 31 So your sacred crystal is morganite 
and your affirmation, I release my personal prejudice and I accept others the way I accept myself. An organ of deep knowledge and wisdom, your heart links your consciousness and soul as one being. Receiving this divine love can be an intense and heart awakening experience. This divine expansion communicates these interactions via your heart's feeling, its emotional expression. It is essential to give and receive love fully. The Temple of Mary is guarded fiercely. Those that choose to enter must be ready to free their heart from love restrictions with humility and grace. The Divine Mother can help you identify any wounds connected to your mother figures with loving support. She inspires your soul to love deeper and surrender to the innocence of your inner child. Residing on the fifth ray of healing, the Divine Mother Mary assists the children of Earth to evolve their heart, to free individuals from emotional pain and burden. If unconditional love wasn't given to you as a child, it may be difficult to accept who you are and others without conditions. Left unhealed, those wounds affect future relationships and acceptance of love leaving your generous heart open to exploitation. Divine Mother Mary asks you to be receptive in expanding in new levels of love. Get the tissues ready. Goodbyes will seem to last forever and empathic, sorry, and empathetic connections will bring newfound friends. Long distance travel, relationship issues and natural life transitions will also influence friendships and relationships. And Mother Mary says, Your heart is heavy. Love and be loved. Be at peace, child. Be at peace. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is unfolding into a wonderful message my wonderful friends next we will have a card from sacred destiny oracle by denise lynn What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Friday the 11th of March 2022? What do my friends need to know? What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. And your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is... Oh... <laughs> truth wow let's look at this image um so we actually have a face here looking like there's a change in the wind i am just hearing wow truths blowing in okay song of the wind wind is in the realm of the air elements, one of the four elements of life, air, water, fire and earth. Air takes form in the oxygen we breathe, as well as in the breezes and zephyrs. It also represents our communication skills. When we speak, it is the air that passes through our mouths that allows us to speak and communicate. Wind is also prana the source of life. As you communicate your truth to yourself and others, you'll find new energy and vitality emerging within your life. The sacred landscape wants you to know, be honest with yourself and speak from your heart. Find your truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. One of the most difficult things to know is what's true for you and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence 
to find your inner voice of truth. But once you find it, let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic. Share your truth with others. Release relationships in which you can't be yourself and can't be real. Being genuine can allow your spirit to fly and the song of your soul to be heard in the universe. Oh, friends, this is just such a beautiful message. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Grabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby? The kind red spirit for my wonderful friends for Friday the 11th of March 2022. What do my friends need to know Ruby? Thank you. Okay and your card from Ruby the kind red spirit is she gives you growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. This is this connection here um, I am picking up on. Uh, but the taking baby steps as you grow, this is, this is patience. This is not trying to force things before they are ready to happen. This is having the wisdom of divine timing wow thank you ruby and ruby says this winged horse wants you to know that you're ready for the next stage of growth and it's time to find someone who can guide you on your journey look for a mentor who has already walked the path that you wish to take and can support your learning and expansion. You may feel called to take on some new study, wow, or new training, or um, training in your field of expertise, or embark on a new career altogether. You may feel guided to work more deeply on your spiritual growth, just like her foal. Be willing to make mistakes and know it's okay to be imperfect as you learn. You don't have to know everything at once and you will never know everything that there is to know. Be open to receiving wisdom and guidance from someone with the experience or skills that you seek. Let go of comparing your progress with anyone else. You are doing your best and that is plenty. Enjoy the journey of being a student and take your growth at your own pace. Keep calling in the perfect mentors to take you to each new level and trust that they will appear when you are ready. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What a magnificent reading to return to, friends. Oh, simply, simply wonderful. Okay. And your trinkets, well, we have four, uh, two gold and two silver. Uh, we'll start with the silver first, uh, the colour of the uh, sacred divine feminine. Um, and we have our magnificent butterflies. They're just here all the time because we are in this time of growth, expansion, transformation and change. Um, wants to go on the Temple of Mary. Oh, wow. Um, also, we have a bee. Um, bees. Uh, I'm hearing productivity, um, success, <sighs> organising, um, family ties I'm also being given 
and I'm just being shown this bee buzzing from flower to flower, really enjoying the buzz of life. It wants to go on the two of cups. OK. And next in the colour of uh, gold, the sacred divine masculine, um, we have um, a third eye. Um, this is awakening, awakening to the knowledge, the wisdom. <sighs> this is you understanding your, your own personal power. Knowing that this power, it has been hidden from you, but your third eye is opening. You are realising how powerful you are, what powerful uh, beings you are. Um, this is also, this is spiritual growth. It's going on Ruby's growth card. OK, and last but by no means least. Ruby has given you a horseshoe. She's letting you know how... How protected you are. Horseshoes also that can represent good luck. Um, and so this I feel is things that are now starting to turn in your favour. Um, but also this is no evil can pass. No one going to be riding roughshod over you. This is Ruby letting you know that you are protected. And it wants to go on truth card because ruby is saying you are expressing your truth but you are expressing it through love um and when you do that um oh boy um, then you are protected then by the light i am hearing wow 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 <coughs> <coughs> well, I'm sorry, friends. Well, I cough right at the end, but we made it through. <laughs> Hooray. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you, too, for your warm, kind comments and emails. I really enjoy them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye. <laughs>